resources. There are three parts I want to share with you. The first part, I give you a little introduction about myself, about the company, and then I want to share what's the upfront issue. What is actually in front of us when we start to source from different countries? And then the part two, I want to share with you with a case study. Actually, you know, what's the best practice? How we actually do the sourcing part? And I use China direct sourcing methodology to explain to you how we identify the issue and how we solve this matter. And then I will open the floor and ask for any questions you may have and to answer any questions. So, give you a little background of me. <laughs> in year 2005, three years later, after I arrived in Australia, two things happened, totally changed my life. First of all, of course, <laughs> as a girl, I have ended my seven-year relationship with a broken heart. <laughs> yes, with an Aussie. And I was crying for nearly seven months, all right? I asked myself, Lindy, how long do you want to cry for? Enough is enough. So, after seven months, I started a company called the China Direct Sourcing. And as you can see, we have been growing the first five year, year after year, we hit a million dollars. However, you know what? When I first started the company, all I wanted is to make more money than he got. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, when we have great hearts, and he actually had a pair. So, I was so... <laughs> And I did. <laughs> and now we're still friends, by the way. You know, we're still going to go out to dinner. Don't worry. Um, in year 2011, we saved our client over $10 million. How did you do that? Well, let me give you a little bit of background about China Direct Sourcing. Who we are as China Direct Sourcing? We are the Australia leading sourcing firm. We make it possible for companies of all sizes to buy direct from factory in China. We are your sourcing project manager. Say for instance, if this chair is $10 in China, you pay $10. You pay us separate fee for service. It's very transparent and very you know, straightforward. We are independent, we are transparent. We don't you know, like to try to take commission from any particular given supplier. We call that bribery. So, and you, you know in Australia, bribery is illegal, and we know that. So, <laughs> <laughs> we input, we help our clients input from button to bulldozer. Whatever my client wanted, we help them to do it. So, uh, you can see our achievement has been recognized through many different business awards. In actual fact, this Friday, and which is you know today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to the Star Casino, not for fun, but for receiving our <laughs> innovative awards. <laughs> yes. We actually are, you know, our recent project is the finalist for the um, innovative award. And myself was the entrepreneur of the year finalist. So we will find out in the results. <laughs> We literally, you name it, we have it. Telstra Business Awards, Telstra Women Business Awards. In the past 15 years, we received so many mentions in the media and so many different awards. Uh, my office is full of you know, the awards. You can see, I, as an entrepreneur, even became a couple girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of them. <laughs>
So, we, even the global service partner of Alibaba, we're the only one in whole Australia. Have how many of you heard of Alibaba? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest e-commerce in the world. So, now, that's enough about that. I'll say just to warm you up. Uh, now I want to share with you about the lower cost country sourcing. Now you, as a professional, as a procurement professional, your boss could you in to the office, say, Hi, Wendy. Hi. You know, Brenda, come into my office. We need to have some suppliers in lower cost country. Go get us some. So what do you do? <laughs> Pray. Call 1 800. I need a supplier. <laughs> Doesn't work. Or call China Direct Sourcing. That will work. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the issue? What could be the issue? Your sourcing product in a lower cost of country sourcing is a long term venture. It's a never a quick time win win event. It will take significant time and effort. So your approach must be different than working with domestic supplier. And yesterday and today, I heard a lot of, you know, you guys talk about procurement procedures, government procuring, and et cetera, et cetera. This will be different. When you buy from the overseas supplier, you are going to have the cultural issue, the language issue, the legal issue, international trade complexity, all of those add up. You really need to plan to developing and growing with your supplier together. So I want to give you a case study. Three weeks ago, someone called me, says, Lindy, I paid $80,000 and I ordered the copper wire. The price is so good, I can't refuse. And yet, when he received the product, he opened it. 20 foot computer loads, $80,000 disappear. The worst thing is, when we help them, them to report to the Chinese policeman, Chinese policeman said, we are sorry, we are sorry to hear your case, however, we can't help you even set up the case. Why? Because we can't come to Australia to collect the evidence Say when you open the container, you didn't swap the goods. How sad it is. You don't want that happening in your career. Do you? <laughs> so, before I even start, look at this is one of the Chinese slogans. <laughs> you laugh. We call that English. <laughs> Every single word is spelled correctly, yet the meaning is also different. Did you get that? And it often happens when you communicate with Chinese supplier. So there are top five costly mistakes you should never make when doing business in China. Number one, choosing the wrong partner to manage your sourcing, importing, or trying to import without professional assistance. I often heard a client say to me, oh Lindy, my uh, next door is a Chinese. My home state student is a Chinese. Uh, my, uh, you know, one of my staff is a Chinese and they can help me source from China. Right lies. Don't do that. <laughs> you speak English. Can you be my lawyer? No. You speak English, can you be my accountant? No, it's a profession. You know, procurement is a profession, isn't it? You know, dealing with Chinese is the same. Underestimating the importance of culture in doing business with China. Chinese have a unique culture. It's the same thing in Australia. You see, when I first come to Australia, I made a mistake. I have no idea. I was invited to give a speech to a bunch of uh, Christian private school, like a private Christian boys school, okay? I had 50 innocent little boys sit there, listen to me, I was talking. I said, look at the shape of the map of China, it's like a chicken. I had to put up, ask me, Is Jen, where are you from? I 